Okay guys, let's see how we can preview images or PDF documents with the help of a native script. So in this particular application, it has just one button. When I click on it, um, it automatically downloads a PNG image and uh, we can see it on the screen as a preview. So let's see how we have created this. Initially, uh, this is one sample native script application. So uh, we've installed native script core provided by native script in order to access the file system. And from there we import file, non folders, path, open file, and those will be used uh, in order to save the file on our system. Also we will need HTTP uh, from native script core. Inside of the component, uh, we're creating the current date, um, something like a timestamp, and uh, this is our download URL. N next, uh, we are creating an inside path where uh, this file will be stored. So it will get the date and uh, we'll add to it the extension of PNG. Here is our request. Basically, we're making a GET request towards uh, the uh, download URL and uh, we're sending additional headers. Uh, that's nice because uh, your um, image or document can require a security token to be accessed and you can specify those things inside of here using the GET file uh, method. And then uh, this is the destination where our file will be saved that we already specified. The moment we have the file downloaded, so this is the return of our promise here, because get file uh, returns a promise, we know uh, that it will be saved under uh, the path of this file. And we use the open file function, uh, which opens and creates a preview of the file. Now, in order for this code to work, Actually, we need to uh, touch two more files, especially for Android, because Android um, requires some security specifications to be mentioned. Uh, one of it is uh, the Android manifest, where we'll just add this information. Uh, so we need to specify a provider for the files to be saved. and. Uh, the files uh, will be saved under a specific path, uh, which will be fetched from a directory XML provider paths. Uh, so in the this directory XML provider paths, this is the content inside. So basically you need to uh, create those two files in order to allow Android to be able to upload the files correctly on the file storage of the device. And uh, that's how basically the whole program functions. I hope you enjoyed the information. So you can uh, freely go ahead and try the methods uh, mentioned. And if uh, you have enjoyed the information, uh, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you.